Hello people, welcome to Thai Conversations with Ida Padikonate. Thai simply means technology, innovation and entrepreneurship. So we're talking about inspiring stories about engineers, innovators and technopreneurs on the African continent. Today, I'm really excited because we are the Agri-Impact Consult Project under the Youth in Greenhouse Enterprise Project at Dawenya in the Greater Accra region in Ghana. So, I can't really wait for us to go in, so let's go. Hello, Emmanuel. Hi, Thank you so much for having us today. You're welcome. Okay, so today we are going to talk about the great work that you're doing here. And I want you to tell our audience a little bit about yourself and about the greenhouse project that is here. Okay, my name is Emmanuel Boamawachi. I'm the Agripreneurship Development Manager for Agri Impact Consult. Okay. Agri Impact Consult is a private consultancy firm. Okay. With over 11 years' experiences wow. in uh, market facilitation with trained SMEs. So the greenhouse component is just a little of the many things that mm. we do. Okay. Yeah. All right. So basically, who are you here and what are we anticipating to see? Okay. So this site is uh, one of the six clusters mm. that we created out of the Ghana Exim Bank Youth in Greenhouse Enterprise Project. Okay. And it's the, it has the la largest concentration of 30 greenhouses. Wow. So the project was funded by Ghana Exim Bank. Okay. To first of all cut the importation of vegetables into the country. Mm. It will interest you to know that vegetable plays an important role in the food ba basket of the country. When they are determining inflation, they use vegetable imports and, and the consumption and it affects inflation. So Exim Bank thought it wise to cut down on importation of vegetables and then also see an avenue to create jobs for the youth. Okay. So the model the model runs in a way that um, these greenhouses owned by graduates oh okay they are owned so i can invest yeah, you can invest <laughs> okay so we'll talk about the money matters yeah. here or no, maybe later maybe maybe inside maybe. okay yeah. <laughs> so you they, they applied for uh, the greenhouses and then um, a, a component is grant exim bank has taken a component and they are paying for them okay. they're supposed to pay i think seventy-five thousand cities also okay. in, in, in three years Okay, okay. So this, this guy okay, so a, a tunnel is someone's investment. Someone's investment. Wow, that's good news. Okay, so is this the only um, area in which you have the greenhouse project? Are there other regions or places in Accra? Yeah, that we, are, we have it in six regions. Agri Impact has our personal one. Okay. The training center in Berkusu. Okay. But for this project, it's scattered on six regions of the country, namely Ashanti, Greater Accra, Central, Western and uh, Volta. Okay. This place, they are scattered around this place. Okay, so I think I can't wait to go inside. So I think yeah. we should just go inside and see the amazing work sure. that you're doing. Follow through what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. All right. So, what does this do? What we call foot bath. We close the door okay. to prevent insects from coming inside. Oh, okay. So all the time, okay. the doors have to be closed. This is bleach. Okay. Okay. To disinfect the soles of your feet. Oh, okay. If there are any fungi, bacteria, so any yeah, stuff. That can them. Okay. them. Okay. So this is sweet pepper. Okay, yeah. wow, this place is beautiful. Thank you very much. Some people uh, want to call it bell pepper. Bell pepper, yes. Pepper. That's what I know. <laughs> All right. So, um, this plant, I understand, is um, almost three months old now. Okay. It, it takes two uh, months to cultivate. Okay. And then after two months, you start harvesting. 
Okay. When you start harvesting, you can harvest for close to four months, continuous harvesting. Okay. But as compared to the open field, sometimes you can even just harvest two weeks and everything goes off. Mm -hmm. This plant that you are seeing here will go tall to this height. Wow. And then we even have to drop it. Like cut it, trim no, it we'll off. It. We'll drop it and then put it down, so like sort of slant it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so like to creep yeah, downwards. No, it will go like now. It's stand like this, so you drop it so that you reduce the height. It will go tall again. Oh, okay. Reduce the height. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is what helps you reduce. We call it, we call it trellising twine. Okay. So just like <laughs> just like um, yam creeps. Okay. Around okay. The, the stick. The, the yeah. plant also is able to creep around this twine. To okay. Okay. Hold it. Mind you. We are looking at an average of five kilos per plant for the entire season. Five kilos. Okay, of pepper. No pepper. pepper. Wow. You don't get it at once, but for the entire four months or so of harvest, you are supposed to get five kilos. Okay. That's like one bag of that small rice. So you need wow. a you need a twine or something which is very 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 thick mm. to be able to hold um, that weight that we are we are looking for. Okay. So can you tell us about how to you put up this structure, what you did, how it all started? Okay. So. For greenhouse farming, we are trying to minimize uh, or utilize space. Okay. This is a 640 square meter greenhouse tunnel, mm. which is less than one plot of land. And it's not wow. even up to a quarter of an acre of land. Wow, but the interesting. Yields that, that, the yields that this greenhouse can give you, mm. someone will have to use four or five acres to get the same yield of um, the normal the traditional farming method yeah, also those form of farming yeah okay. so greenhouse is trying to let you get the optimum yield from a small space of land mm. so what we are see what we are seeing here is not soil okay we use something we call cocoa pit oh okay how do you get that coconut husk oh interesting we compose coconut husk mm. that's how we grow the plants in okay and um, it's called a medium because it's not um it's not the it's not a substance which is giving nutrients to the plant. It's just a medium to hold the roots. Okay. So okay. So there are several things you can you can even use sawdust. You can even use rice husks. Mm. A whole lot of um, medium are there for you to choose from. Okay. So what happens here is that you see there there are black substance like a, a line. So you see um, the cocoa pit. There's this black um, rubber. Mm -hmm. We call it the draper line. Okay. Draper line. It has holes under them which emits the water and the nutrients to the plant. Oh, okay. so there are nutrients in the water? Yeah. yeah. So just like when you go to the hospital, they give you drip, mm -hmm. infusion. Same thing happens here. That's, mm -hmm. that's why this um, irrigation system is called drip irrigation system. Mm -hmm. So these are the poly tanks. Sometimes we give only water, sometimes we give nutrients or fertilizers. Oh, okay. You mix, mix, it. You mix it here. Okay. And then when it's time for you to Fertigate, there's a term called fertigation. Okay. Fertigation and irrigation. Fertigation is when you add fertilizer to the irrigation water. water. Okay. okay. And, and then the when you add nutrients, it's a nutrigation. No, 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 no. It's the same thing. It's fe okay. fertigation. So right. depending on, we have a schedule. Okay. And um, sometimes to the weather, the height of the plant, the age, and all those influences what we are giving to the plant. Okay. So when you are ready to give um, anything that you want to give to the plant, you just open your valves. And then you give it to the plants. Okay, so I'm, I'm particularly interested in the fruits right now because okay. they smell really good. They look very fresh and healthy. Thank you. So um, tell me, so so far, well, I can see different colors. Yeah. Is it that we have um, different species of pepe here? Yeah, so this is about the variety. Okay. The variety we are doing here is the green to red variety. Okay. okay. So you can eat it green. Okay. Or wait for it to turn red. Which one is sweeter? The green or the red? Or I not think they all taste the same. The same? Okay. Just that the difference is in the pricing. Oh, okay. When it's red, you can even get about 50 to 70% of the price okay. you get okay. if it's um, green. green. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. So, so, so that's. Because I usually, I, I don't even know, do we grow this in Ghana locally? Do um, orthodox um, farmers? The open field. Because of issues of disease and pests. They are not able to um, do it on a large scale. On a large scale, or even get the red. And even on the red, it's very uh, Ghanaians are not used to the red and the yellow types. Mm. Yeah, everybody wants green. Yeah, I remember when we started doing this colored pepper, we took it to the market. And we're like, hey, what the fertilizer and asasan or <laughs> GMO, all those oh, things. Really? Yeah, because I'm actually in my house, we actually eat colored bell peppers. Okay. So we have to go to the mall and buy it at expensive. <laughs> Prices. Maybe because you are coming for a rich family. Oh, that's why. no, it's not like that. <laughs> so I saw this very big 
Green mm. Pepe. I don't know. No, it's, it's not here. It's, it's not, not here. here. Let's. We have a lot of big ones. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Thank it's you. here. Yeah. This one. Wow. Like, how do you get it to look so, I don't know, like, big and... Yeah. So, you see, on this particular plant, it doesn't have a lot of fruit. Mm. What happens is that if you have a lot of fruit, they all take ah, trying they distribute to distribute the new trend. So, if you want to go big, sometimes you have to sacrifice some of the smaller fruit. Oh, okay. For you to... At the end of the day, it's weight that we are looking for, not quantities. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so okay. if you decide to get it, okay, big, you sell in weight. Yeah, in oh, kilos. In kilos. Yeah, oh, okay. we don't we don't sell like three pieces. We don't do pieces. Okay. So um, that. you're doing an amazing work here. I'm really Thank really you. inspired by what you're doing here. Thank you. But I just want to find out. Um, so if we have an investor who is interested in this and they want to grow your business, how would you improve the technology here? Go our business as agri impact for this project. Agri Impact, your greenhouse projects. Well, we we are a private company okay. that do consultancy in greenhouse and all okay. that. Okay. So for um, our training institute, somebody wants to come and invest there for us to expand infrastructure wise and all those things. Fine. Oh, okay. But normally people contract us to build greenhouses for them, help them manage. So it's, 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 it becomes very difficult for you to get people trying to come say I want to invest in your company, but they would rather come for our services. Okay, 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 okay. 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 So they pay you to set up for them. Yeah. Oh, and then, okay. All right. So you said you take me to another tunnel. Yeah, so sure. I think let's go. Thank you. Alright, this, this is the Kokumba tunnel. Okay. And then I think it's uh, barely four weeks old. Are you kidding me? Yeah, four <laughs> weeks old. They started harvesting already. Wow. And, um, I'm happy to inform you that this, for all the 100 greener sites, this gentleman here, which I'll later let you speak to him, has broken the record for hey. the first <laughs> harvest in, one, in the first harvest. In four weeks? Yeah, he had 500 kilos in one. The first Interesting. Habit. So, so basically, it's more profitable to do cucumber than pepper. Is that what you're saying? Or the price of cucumber too is lower than pepper. Oh, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> advantage is the advantage is that you're able to do three or four cycles of cucumber in a year. Okay. And for tomatoes and pepper, it's only two cycles. Oh, okay. So, so I think yeah. It's a win-win-win situation over here. Okay. So as okay. you can see, his plant grew so tall that okay. he had to drop. Okay, the I can see the tall ones yeah. at the back. The rationale behind the dropping is that one, for you to get easy access to work on them. Okay. And two, this is what happens here. Warm air tries to escape from the greenhouse. Okay, okay. The cool air tries to push the warm air out. There's a vent here. Mm. But it's not able to push all of it out. So the upper part of the greenhouse always have high temperatures. Heat, yeah. This place is really warm, like I'm really sweating. Yeah, but it's good for the plants as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> they, they use the heat um, mm. to, the, for flower development and the food development. Okay. Just okay. that too much heat is, is, is bad. Mm. In the pepper, I told you that sometimes we drop. And as you can see, we've even dropped some of the plants. Some are still high. They mm. are still dropping. The rationale being that there is warm air at the upper part of the greenhouse. Mm. It tries to escape through the vents, but not okay. all of them are able to go. Okay. But during daytime temperatures, if the plants are allowed to get to that part, there's something we call flower abortion. What's that? What's flower oh, abortion? It's, it's, it's the inability of the flower to form fruit. Okay. Okay. So it burns off. Oh, okay. 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 So okay. when it gets to that height, you just have to keep dropping. And also, when you drop, it, it gives you um, easy access to work on the plant. Okay. Imagine a plant like pruning here, and, and all of that. Yeah. Okay. So that's the advantage of the okay. dropping. I can see the flowers and the stem. I'm looking for the fruits, the cucumber fruits. We harvested not long ago, but you can see this. These are all fruits. Okay. I can send you uh, pictures in two days. 
Some people will be we have ready for harvest. Oh, okay. Can I come for some personally? Okay. <laughs> I have to I'll pay. I'll some for you. One for one CD. Yeah. <laughs> Kokuma likes a lot of water. Okay, okay. So it just goes like that. But the flowers that you are seeing, um, these are the flowers. This is what mm. turn into the fruit. Okay, okay. They look like okro. No, this yeah, is no. <laughs> We have the male and the female flower. Okay. The female flower that turns into fruit. Oh, okay. The male flower has the Do you know the difference when you look yeah, at it? I know. Show me. You sure you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the um, female flower normally has the fruit. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, okay. okay. But you see, this flower does not have any fruit yeah. beneath it. So that's the male. This is the male. Okay, okay. And pollination will care, you know. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. So thank you. Like this this, uh, this has been really exciting and okay. and I'm really glad you hosted us today. I've learned a lot, I've seen a well, lot, nice. and I'm excited about the future of agriculture for Africa. Sure. So any last words to somebody watching, someone who is interested in venturing into greenhouse farming or agriculture? Okay, um my my focus is always on the youth. Mm. We sometimes see agriculture or farming as a punishment. Oh, uh, <laughs> but this one is sexy. This is sexy farming. <laughs> but but the, the heat alone will make it unsexy for you when, yeah, you can, when you're supposed to come and working in or all that. My message to the youth out there is to critically look at the opportunities that farming presents. Okay. When you talk about, ag I, I, I normally don't like using farming. I, I usually want to use agribusiness. Okay. Because the cultivation aspect is just one aspect. Mm. Do you know you can make a business by buying from us, packaging and selling to someone? Mm, you, also yeah. make, you also make money. Do you know that you can slice these um, peppers and cucumber, package it, and then also sell? Sell it, yes. So value addition. So I would like to encourage the youth to look at the value chain of agribusiness okay. and tap into the numerous opportunities that it presents. Thank you so much, Imano. I really had an exciting time here. I learned a lot. And I hope to come back here again to see how far you've come with your greenhouse project. Thank you. Is this the male flower? Okay, the male flower. Okay. And, and this is the owner of the structure. The oh, wow. Who has broken the record. What's his name? Godwin. 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 He's oh, a okay. Oh, okay, okay. So has he, he invested or he cultivated? He cultivates. He'll pay back his, his loan. Oh, okay. And he also, the, 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 the beauty of this project is that he's creating direct and indirect jobs. He also have about four people working under him. Oh, interesting. Well. Wow, great job. Nice to meet you. Hello, people. This has been the exciting journey at the Agri Impact Greenhouse Project. And I'm really excited about the future of farming here in Africa. I'm looking forward to Africa doing aquaponics and aeroponics on a large scale. And I'm looking forward to Africa fulfilling the prophecy that we have the potential to feed the whole world. See you next time. This has been Thai Conversations with Aida Padikonate. I love you. Bye.